Well, Mrs. Gay, I'm going to hang a picture, and I'd like to borrow a hammer. Oh, certainly, Mr. Bentley. Come on in. Florence, would you get it for him? Okay. Hi, Mr. Bentley. Hi. <laughs> Got to cancel that dinner. I just love my new picture. It's a print by Van Gogh. Oh, my God. I don't know how to reach him. Uh, that would be difficult. Van Gogh is dead. <laughs> I'm talking about Bill Simpson. Oh, is he dead, too? Bill Simpson was my first boyfriend. Well, what did he die of? He asked me to go to dinner. Food poisoning? Uh, Mr. Bentley, uh, let me go slowly. Bill Simpson was my first boyfriend. And he just called and asked me to go to dinner tomorrow night. Ah, your first boyfriend. Yes, I still remember the very first girl I was ever in love with. Oh, we weren't in love. It was just a teenage crush. I was just a lad, <laughs> mowing lawns for the summer, trying to earn some money. And this girl lived in one of the houses. She was so delicate, so beautiful. Well, I finally shored up my courage and asked for her phone number, and she gave it to me. And under it, she wrote a poem. I'll never forget those lines. I like you, Harry Bentley. To meet you has been thrilling. We could get better acquainted for five pounds, 15 shillings. <laughs> That's terrible. I know, by the time I'd earned enough money, she'd move. Here you go, Mr. Bentley. Oh, thank you. I don't know if I should go or not. I think you should go. It ain't every day you get to visit your past. Yeah, but if I go, George may not let me visit my future. Well, I agree with Florence. There's nothing really wrong with it. A man and a woman can see each other without anything happening. Don't I know it. <laughs> Well, I am curious about what Bill is doing. If he's a success, if he's happy, if he's got hair. Well, Mr. Jefferson will be home any minute. Why don't you just ask him if you can go? It's worth a try. That's right, and we'll be right here to back you up. Damn! <laughs> nice seeing you, Mrs. J. <laughs> don't let me rush you, Bentley. Oh, uh, Mr. J, perhaps uh, you and Mrs. J would like to stop by and see my Van Gogh later. No, but I'd like to see your butt go now. <laughs> uh, George, this is one of the worst days of my life. Ask him. Ask me what? Uh, oh, uh, I just wanted to, uh, to ask you how your day was. I just told you, it was rotten. <laughs> uh, well, I just wanted a second opinion. Lawrence, don't you have something else to do? No, I'm not really. <laughs> Why don't you make dinner? Yeah, right. Why don't you get started if you want to burn it? <laughs> George, what happened today? Everything. Six employees were out sick. We ruined some woman's suede coat. Two machines broke down. If I hear one more bad thing today, I'll just drop dead. If you don't tell him, I will. <laughs> Look, everything's gonna be all right. Everyone has one of those days. Yeah, I guess you're right, Weezy. I think I'll just lie down for a while. What the hell is this? <laughs> Florence's hat. That's the ugliest thing I ever saw. And what's this? Uh, my hat. Oh, that's nice, Weezy. <laughs> You didn't ask him, did you? I just couldn't. Miss Jefferson, poor Bill's gonna be waiting for you. Well, he's been waiting 35 years. What's another day? But ain't you just dying to see what your old boyfriend looks like after all these years? Yes, I am, Florence, but I'm not gonna do anything behind George's back. But I do wish there was some other way to find out about Bill. Well, if I was you, I'd go. Well, you're not me, and I'm not about to go. <laughs> <laughs> 